the Eurasian water milfoil, which is an aquatic plant and it's native to Europe, Africa and Asia. We first observed it here in Canada in 1958. So its stems measure up to six meters and they form dense canopies at the surface of the water where their stems are anchored to the substrate and then they branch up to the surface. Um, their leaves are arranged in groups of four and between each group of um, four leaves, there's a gap of about one centimeter and their leaves are divided into 12 to 24 segments. And if you can uh, see the surface, there's also a red flower there on the on the surface. So they live typically in lakes, uh, canals, ponds and swamps, also streams and rivers, but they live in calm and clear waters um, and from depths up to one to five meters. The Eurasian water milfoy uh, has a high reproduction and expansion capacity and they can reproduce themselves in several ways. So they can reproduce by fragmentation of stems, which is um, promoted also by boats from July to September is when they usually do reproduce themselves in that manner. And they can also reproduce themselves by rhizomes and seeds. The major impact is that they take the place of native species and they can change the composition of phytoplankton and they also interfere with tourism and recreational activities. In order to prevent the, the spread of the Eurasian water milfoy, um, there is the cleaning of boats once again, avoiding ballast water and fish transfers from different bodies of water. Um, recommend to not navigate in seagrass. And in order to um, control their spread, there's manual mechanical weeding and uprooting, and also the laying of burlap. The Eurasian water milfoy can also have a huge impact on property prices. So they can reduce the price of property on a lake by 13% sometimes. Yeah, I know that Lac Gauvreau has a huge problem with it. And even when we um, do our water sampling along the uh, Gatineau River, all through Cantley, Chelsea and uh, La Peche, there's milfoil everywhere. Um, yeah. one, thing I, one thing I understand is that there's also a hybrid species that's a cross between the Eurasian and the native milfoil, which looks kind of similar to both. I wonder if you could say something about that. Yeah, it, it's really it's really hard to, sometimes to separate uh, the different species uh, uh, because we have native species uh, uh, about uh, three or four other species are very very looking similar to uh, Eurasian milfoil. Sometimes right. it's uh, sometimes they uh, can um, uh, uh, cross. The, they cross breed, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, it can form hybrids, and uh, and hybrids are uh, the same aggressivity uh, than the, the native, the 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 Eurasian milfoil, and uh, and we have to to pay attention to uh, to have a, a good separations of uh, what is native when what is the invasive species yeah they don't have the, the same behavior in uh, in lakes yeah this is the problem i have when trying to identify whether it's yeah. eurasian or not um you know it's pretty hard to say for sure and i know that it's spread so much it's likely to be the, certainly the more aggressive types but um i don't know what would you recommend in terms of what we look for and what we actually do the 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 the, the what what uh, I usually recommend is uh, uh, have a, a good inventory of uh, the um, these army, um, um, the, the, the places you know the locations you yeah know. the location yeah. of uh, the where where the the the, the milfoil grow and uh, uh, then um, we recommend to to uh, put buoys. Uh, to isolate the the right the, 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 the main uh, I, I try to find the, the word in English RB I don't remember what the, how to say that uh, that uh, uh, a big population at the same place uh, right yeah where the intention uh, you know I yeah. try to find a word but I, I don't that's remember. okay no okay. I get it yeah 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 but okay. uh, anyway I, I, we recommend to put buoys where uh, the, 
uh, boats uh, go very often here uh, to uh, avoid the, the fragmentation of uh, stems. And uh, uh, and in the last last uh, possibility is to put burlap uh, over the the main. Uh, uh, main group of uh, milfoil, uh, but at the moment it's really hard because uh, the government regulations are uh, really limitative uh, for the, the authorizations and uh, uh, other considerations uh, that that is difficult difficult to um, to deal with. Right. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, it's still yeah. it's still an experimentation, but. Um, uh, the, be the best manner at the beginning is to have a, a good idea where are the the the, the, the biggest uh, uh, concentrations yes. yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Right. in the river. Yeah. I know in Gatineau River there, are, I, I know very well the um, uh, uh, Pogan, Pogan Reservoir. Yeah. It's, it's full of milfoil here. Yeah. And, uh, probably. Yeah. Probably uh, in other parts of the river, it's a, it's a real concern also. Well, one of our members, um, he kayaks a lot up and down the river in Chelsea, and uh, he says that just about everywhere there's a, a motorboat in a dock, there's milfoil been, you know, surrounding it, and it gets chewed up every time the boat, you know, goes in and out. Um, is there funding available to, you know, like to put buoys up and identify areas and put buoys? Does the Quebec government have any funding for that? Um, Est-ce qu'il y a des funding pour uh, les buoys? Yeah, yeah, it's possible to uh, to um, uh, the buoys is uh, federal under federal regulations, and okay. there is some uh, federal programs with uh, uh, fish ocean, um, um, fish and oceans, yeah, fish and oceans uh, Canada. Uh, okay. there, there is some programs uh, to to help uh, to to finance uh, the, the the operation. Sure. Okay. Thanks. Yeah. And, and the only the only one distributor uh, in in the area is located in Lac du Serre, uh, okay. and he, he, he can for can um, provide uh, buoys uh, for uh, for the the. For that, for the yeah. associations and the other stuff. Okay. Uh, for uh, for the, the for that for the yeah. associations and the other stuff. Yeah. 